Welcome, Paula here, and this is my world. Now, I want to say thank you to everyone who's given me feedback on ideas for episode 100. Now, I did say I'd build, like, you know, maybe up to 10 things for that episode, but thinking about it, there's been so many great ideas. Now, I would really hate to go ahead and do that without, you know, like, commentating on it and uh, putting some real effort into doing all the detail and so on while on video rather than just having it all sped through. So what I'm going to do is... I think episode 100 will be a world tour with one special build and the episodes running up to episode 100 will include all the ideas everyone has listed or most of them things like adventure maps and uh, my own community server well they'll I'll do them but uh, that'll be something separate to uh, Paula's world so the first thing I'm gonna do oh, before I do that I wanna show you a lot of people are saying I should have finished off that sword so I have as you can see here the sword pierces the rock and there is the tip it looks pretty cool to be honest I should have done that originally but uh, it's done now I love the look of it so yeah that turned out pretty nice now Hey, it's raining and I've got rain sounds. Sweet. Although they're pretty loud, so... Uh, now, I had a, uh, a lot of feedback, and this idea has been submitted more than once in previous uh, videos, uh, to build a ship. Now, a ship is something I've always wanted to do, but I've never had uh, the confidence to do it, because I... I just don't think I could pull it off. However, I've uh, studied a few of them, and I think I've got an idea on how to go about this. I mean, really, it's not that hard when you actually get down to it. It's just, I mean, I don't know. I say it's not that hard. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything. I'm just going to go give it a go and see what happens. So, let me show you. I wish there was an object in Minecraft which would attract lightning so the lightning would hit that one spot because I'd put it on the top of that sword so every now and then lightning would strike it. That would be a pretty nifty effect. But uh, around here you may remember we had that big open bay and we have that tall tower and then we have the shorter tower I made. You'll see them here in a moment. Now, I think I'm going to build a ship there and then work in a dock afterwards. I plan on building a few ships if this one turns out okay because I, every time I've seen a ship in a Minecraft server it's looked amazing so... I also do a special shout out that our server has a humongous ship which looks awesome. Definitely worth checking out. Okay here we are. Let me just swim across. Oh, rain, rain, go away. I spent most of this morning exploring the area and trying to find a good... Oh, holy crap, that scared me. <laughs> go away. As I was saying uh, before I had a heart attack, I spent most of uh, my day exploring this world, trying to find a new cool spot to build at. I found quite a few interesting things which I uh, plan on doing something with, but just not yet. So here we are, I plan on building this ship here. You may have noticed that uh, before, if you look back at the previous episode when I built that, there was like quite a sizeable uh, small island here. And I've had to remove it because if I built a ship here, and this island was blocking this sort of exit. How the hell would the ship get in and out? You know, I, I didn't like the logic behind that. I mean, I was looking around for places to build uh, ships and stuff, and I, I keep coming back to the uh, problem of how did the, the ship get in here in the first place, you know? So, the only places I plan on building the ships are areas where the ship can actually get out as well, so. Now, I've been busy, I've chopped down a lot of wood lot of trees I should say so we have that 
Now I'm going to have to get started on this. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet. I think I'm just going to wing it. To be honest. Because uh, otherwise I have no idea how to do this. That's the problem. So... Now this is going to be kind of awkward if I cannot place anything down. So there we go. Um, where's the ship going to go? It can go just here. It needs to be roughly in the middle. I know what I'm doing for a moment, which I have absolutely no clue. Okay. See, the bottom of it needs to be in the water, but there needs to be enough of it in the water. I mean, if that makes sense, probably doesn't, but... Let's get some torch torches going. So... I'll tell you what, this ship might not be that big. Let's just wing this. Okay. I've seen people do it different way, but I wanted it to be fairly sizable. Otherwise, what's the point? from the bottom up it's getting dark here so let's get some more torches going don't want to get attacked okay so that's the very bottom of the ship okay get up get some air we'll just do it as a section at a time because I don't know how big this is going to be or how long I should say Go ahead and fill this in because this will need to be empty. Okay. Even if this turns out to be horribly wrong, I can always turn it into something else. I'm not worried about that. But you just have a go at it and uh, try to get it right. Okay, there we go. Now, let's just get this filled in. Purely so I can see what I'm doing. Just heard something. <laughs> Gonna stop freaking me out already. go this at least lets me see what I'm doing okay I think the smartest way to do this in fact I think this is wrong I'm going to go ahead and say that now however 
I might be able to save what I'm doing. Let's get some light going. So the back of the ship's going to be here. Again, I do not know how long this will be. I'm just taking a wild guess. So, what if we do like the uh, half circle again? So, basically, this will give me some idea on how wide this will be. Normally you go another two that way, but I'm not sure yet. I could just leave it like that. That might suffice, however it may not. Let's just go ahead and do that. See if I can get this right. Uh, there we go. See, it's going to be this wide up here so it will taper off at the bottom to try and reach there at least I think so honestly I have no idea although I suppose the top of the deck can be as wide as this will go I do not know anyway I'm gonna carry on building out the bottom of this ship and we'll work our way up and hopefully it'll be by be morning by then so you'll be able to see what I've done clearly Okay, as you can see, I've started trying to shape the ship out. Um, I'm not going, I mean, this is a disaster, I'm pretty sure of it. But um, I've managed to sort of curve the end out here, and I've uh, taped the, sh the ship at the back, which I'll show you the outside of. Um, Now, let me just show you what the back of the ship looks like. There's nothing nasty around here. Okay, as you can see there, the ship tapers off. I'm already pretty sure that the... Uh, it's going to look weird once it's done, but I don't know, it kind of it kind of looks like a boat. Perhaps... Uh, I'll get better the more I make, but anyway, I'll finish this one up. I don't think it's going to have like uh, holes in the side for cannons and such because of the way I designed it. So I just noticed that mistake after I got that halfway done. I used uh, pine tree wood or pine tree bark to uh, mark out the top of the ship. I figured the, the contrast in textures would look a lot better, so that's what I got going here. Now, I know that uh, the sort of the front and back of the ship tend to be raised up, and so what I'm thinking of doing is possibly when it gets to about here, is start going up, and possibly try and make a little cabin at the back here or something along those lines. I'm not sure yet. And same goes for the front. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. One problem at a time, I reckon. So what I'm going to do is try and get the rest of this, the bottom of the ship done. And then we'll uh, finish up the deck. And once the bottom of the ship's done, then uh, we'll look at like sails and such. But I've got to get to that point first. I mean, I did try looking for a... a uh, a video seeing if there's anyone who's you know done a step-by-step -step guide on how to layer them because my problem is is the layers i.e. Uh, when you taper how to get the shape right but uh, there's hardly any videos that are in decent enough quality to watch so but oh well we'll see how this goes you never know I might uh, get lucky so 
Alright, I'm gonna carry on with this. And I'll show you what I got in a bit. Okay. I've been fairly busy. Let me just grab this. So, as you can see here, the deck is done. Now, I've raised this up because that's how they all are on, on all ships, really. They have like a sort of cabin at the back. Well, m most of them do anyway. Just need to do the finishing touches, which is adding a door. So, here we go. This is the captain's room. We've got the glass windows at the back here, so you can look out. And I did a couple of side ones. I did this here, even though the stairs, it just breaks up the room a bit, so it's not all wood. And we can go up here, and then we've got this top part. Now, I've been having some trouble deciding how to do this. Now, I can already tell that, I mean, there's one way I can fix this. Um, a lot of the best way would be to show you what I'm talking about. So we get up here. You'll see what's wrong as soon as I look at it. There we go. Now, I think the shape's starting to get there. However, because I made this end so big, the rest of the ship looks kind of small. I think a way I could fix this, however, is by increasing the length of it. I'm not sure, but I reckon that might solve it. Uh, one of the things I started to do was... Up here, I tried to break it up a bit, so I had this, uh, the, uh, birch tree, or not, the pine tree, wood going around the edge there. However, it does look kind of weird, depending on which angle you look from, so I'm not sure if I want to keep it like that. Um, now, I could stick a, f a sail on that and be done, but to be honest, I think it would look a lot better if I increase the length slightly, I don't know, perhaps say bring the sides of the uh, ship up to say at the end of there and then add this tip on the end perhaps I honestly don't know yet, uh, I'm gonna have to work that out but if it will make the uh, ship look better then that's something I'm willing to do now I do need to add a section to go down, but there's no point until I finish the outside of the ship, so... I'm tempted to just... If I might do that, just go ahead and bring it up. I'm hoping that will make it look better. I think I at least saved the, uh, the overall look of it by adding in this back piece. Although it still looks a bit weird there. I reckon I know why now. This bit probably could have done with hit going up like, say, to there. Well, I'm not sure. I just reckon it could do with going up a tiny bit there, but I don't know. We'll see. Kind of looks like a shoe, a shoe ship. But anyway, we get back to the other side. Overall, I mean, this is pretty cool so far. Definitely like it. If I am going to expand it out, I will have to head back to my uh, tree farm. At least with this build here, it's not too far away. See, as you can see here, those sticking out do look a bit weird. Um, I don't know. Go ahead and give me some feedback on this and tell me what uh, you think I should do to improve it. I definitely think making it longer is the way to go, which I may do. Although I'm still unsure how to uh, peek out. In fact, that would give me a chance to have a look at peeking out the end now that I've got the rear of the ship done. Um, what else? 
don't have any more. Let's make a couple more stairs because I have a nice idea. Which is, let's go ahead and bring that across there. Just so it covers it slightly. A lot of the torches look kind of weird now, but overall I think that looks better. I plan on having some chests back here, like uh, some hidden ones. And I'll have like a, a hole to go down inside the ship. But I'll get to that. Huh. I know I've kind of stuffed myself by not sh having the uh, holes on the ship, the uh, portholes, but not really a problem. Well, wow, this ship is huge. <laughs> uh, oh well. You live and learn. It's a good learning experience anyway. Hopefully I can improve on this next time we do another ship. Because there's several areas where I'd like to add big ships like this. So. So yeah. Um, feedback would be appreciated. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Come join our community server at asheshq.com and pulley.com is my gaming blog. Now I am looking, I'm still looking for feedback or ideas on what I should do for my 100th episode. Although it's probably going to be a uh, world tour and a special build. However, I want ideas for the lead up I should say. So anything like that I'd appreciate. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.